Welcome to probably my most requested topic for me to cover in all of Toontown, the Chairman. There's a lot of information and resources to go over and cover, but I will say here at the forefront of this video, there's not going to be hidden Chairman files or secret plans for the Chairman that Jesse Shell tucked away, but I will say that there's several things I'll discuss in this video that nobody has known for sure until now. So let's start with what is the chairman? Essentially, in 2002 or 2003, the concept of a chairman was born more or less near the start of the entire game itself in the Flash video that played when you downloaded the game. In the video, you see this one-of-a-kind robot come to life and begin the creation of what we know to be the current cogs in the game. This happening causes this robot to be the lead prospect for being the chairman. Now, this robot never actually again reappears in anything in the game. It isn't mentioned, and Jesse Shell himself has told me that he personally doesn't believe that video is exactly how the cogs came to be causing some shred of doubt on the verifiability of this robot being the true chairman. However, the road to the chairman myths and rumors doesn't stop with the Flash video. In the early days of Toontown Online in 2003, there was a backstage report posted on the website detailing the new project they were working on called COG HQ. In these posts about the original COG HQ concept, watch Toontown Mysteries The COG Factories for more on that specifically by the way, it mentions fighting big boss COGs at the end of each factory type, and then once upon finishing that, gaining access to the big main COG headquarters building. Eventually this idea was scrapped and redesigned into the modern day Sobot HQ and eventually branching out into the other COG HQs as well. But what was going to happen in order to reach that final headquarters? Well, according to what Jesse Shell said previously and said to me personally, you would go into these factories to fight and beat the four VPs. According to Jesse Shell, upon doing that, you would get pieces of a corporate seal, beat all four VPs and get all four quadrants of the corporate seal and you gain access to the main headquarters. The only difference in this case being that he specifically describes each boss cog as a VP and the final boss cog as the CEO, not specifically ever mentioning chairman. Upon gaining the corporate seal and entering the headquarters, there would have been an epic battle with the CEO in some way that they had never fully worked out. This plan was ultimately scrapped as well due to the disliking of an ending to the game of Toontown Online. So does that spell the end of the chairman there? No, not necessarily. Most notably in the CEO battle in Toontown, upon defeating the CEO himself, he exclaims, no, the chairman won't like this, creating a direct tie to the concept of the chairman being undisputably real. As well as having a Toon News for the Amused article featuring a note written from the chairman himself to the COGS. There's no denying that Toontown Online kept the chairman as a factual character and kept him in the lore of the game despite never actually making an in-game appearance. I asked Toontown Online creative director Felipe Lore if there was any conceptual plans or designs for the chairman, him replying very bluntly that it was talked heavily about as a real possibility, but at that point in the game's life, post -boss bot HQ, there were never any resources dedicated to conceptualize them, and especially no resources dedicated to develop them. So, unfortunately, there was never in the end a true chairman or final boss battle developed nor designed, but throughout all that we come to know and learn that it's a very real character in Toontown, one that's still to come in some form soon. Let me also answer and clear up one of the longest and oldest perpetuated rumors this head in Sobot HQ. For the longest time, people have always claimed and rumored that this right here was the head of the one and only chairman. It's not seen anywhere else in the game and it's unique. Why is that head there in the Sobot HQ factory lobby? Is it the chairman? Well, I personally contacted the man himself who designed the current day Sobot HQ, Jay Friedman. I asked him specifically about the cog head in the factory, who it was, what it was, and was it a boss cog or a chairman? Very plainly, he replied simply saying that the head in the Sawbot factory lobby is simply a generic cog head. Just a generic head that they had and was simply incorporated into the design of the factory lobby. So, is it the chairman? Well, no, but could creating and proposing the idea and concept of it being a statue or something along those likes to the chairman be something that we could accept or believe? Yes, but it isn't actually what the original intent was for this cog head. And that's more or less where the last of the chairman's ties in Toontown Online end. Something fun to think about, but nothing truly ever concrete or conceptualized. However, the Toontown rewritten team have already come out as saying the chairman will make an appearance in TTR someday. 
When that is, we'll just have to wait and see, but through this, the concept of the chairman still solidly lives on to this day. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was interesting and maybe gave you some new insight and taught you something new about the chairman or even just gave you something more to think about, and I appreciate all of the support from everyone. I'll ask you all a question here at the end. How would you design a chairman battle? And one last thing. Toontown Mysteries isn't always the easiest topic to cover. There's only so many mysteries and topics to cover and I need your help. If you have things you've always wondered about and want to know more about and think I could cover it specifically in Toontown Mysteries, leave a comment and tell me your mysteries, topics, and ideas and I'll be sure to read them. Thank you all so much and as always, I'll see you all next time in my next video.